Matt Hunt here with MDH Technologies. This is the second video in our training series on Windows 8.1, uh, our introductory training videos. Uh, these videos are designed uh, to give short five or six minute training sessions so that people can learn uh, some of the new things about Windows 8 uh, in a short time span uh, over a period of time. Um, so this next session uh, will cover further customization of the start screen. So if you remember the last session that we did was how to remove tiles from the start screen. In this session you can see that there's an awful lot gone now and uh, things are much more manageable on the desktop compared to what they were. So the first thing that you're going to uh, mention or see on the um, tiles, some of them, they have dynamic content, which means you'll notice the content will change from time to time. It's got a headline of something or it shows a, a, th a thumbnail of a pictures do uh, directory or something along those lines. You've got different news headings that could show. Uh, so you've got all, all kinds of options that you can uh, customize with a lot of these tiles in terms of uh, what they show. Uh, and you don't have to settle for what the defaults are. Uh, it's your computer and uh, thankfully Windows 8 has the ability to customize it further. So the first thing that we're going to show you is how to further organize this. You'll notice that there's a lot of space in between things now that we've deleted some stuff. So um, the next thing that we're going to do is just basically physically organize them and you can just do that by drag and drop. Okay, so we can just pull icons over and oops, looks like I clicked on access there. <laughs> So we'll actually put uh, Word down there and Publisher, let's see, we'll just kind of fill up a single screen now. So this actually fits on one screen which, so you don't have to scroll over which is nice. You actually do have some room in the margin that I can add some more icons. Uh, that, and that's the next thing that we can do to further customize and, and you can add icons on the start screen by going to the uh, going or the swiping uh, to the down arrow there and um, once you can view your full list of applications that are installed you can now right click on one of them control panel for example and you can pin to start and you'll notice now it appears here and that's actually a good shortcut to have um, if you access the control panel a lot at least I like uh, this PC is what used to be called my computer in previous versions of Windows, uh, but it takes you to the view that you're familiar with. So that's how to add tiles.